Hello fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to access the depth of market trading dome with TradingView. Now, if you're not familiar with the trading dome, the trading dome has different names, price ladder, matrix, level two data, whatever you want to call it. And TradingView does support this technology within their software. And we're going to show you exactly where to go within the software to access this tool. So first things first, of course, you want to make sure that you're connected to your TradingView account with AMP Futures brokerage account. Right now, I'm currently using a demo account. And the one thing that you're going to want to do first is you want to make sure that you have your trade panel open. The trade panel is this option at the bottom here. You'll see where it says AMP demo. If you're connected to a live account, it'll say AMP live. You want to make sure you click it where it says op open trading panel. Next, you can click the trade button. You necessarily don't need to actually open the trading panel. You can just actually hit the trade button as well. Um, I just find it a little easier because you had different pieces of information that you can view, such as your account balance and more. Once you have it open, you want to click this trade button here. Now, once you open it, normally by default, it'll default to the order tab, which you can see here. But to the right, you'll see where it says dome. And now this is what the depth of market looks like. Now, while we're here, let's explain a couple things. Depth of market is basically these numbers that you see here in the buy and sell columns. This represents the amount of orders that are working at those particular price levels. And you can see those numbers fluctuating constantly when the market is trading. Just while we're at it, we'll show you how to place a couple trades, some basic trades. So, for example, if you wanted to place, let's say, a buy order, you want to make sure that you click in the left column to the left of the price column. On the right side, you want to make sure you click on the right column if you're placing sell transactions. Another thing you can notice, what you'll notice is when you hover your mouse cursor over a specific column, you'll see that right now you can see there's a blue box around where my mouse cursor is. That's kind of giving you a visual representation. That's a buy order. You'll see to the left of it, it also shows the order type, which is limit. If I go to the right side, notice now the box is kind of more of a red pinkish color. This is letting you know that this is going to be a sell transaction. So, for example, at the bottom here, you can select the amount of units that you want to buy or sell, also known as contracts. You can use the, either use the up and down arrows or just simply type in the value, whatever is easier. And you also have your buy market, sell market buttons as well. So let's say, for example, if I wanted to place a buy limit order at 5103, I'm going to hover my mouse cursor on the left side because it's a buy order. You can see the blue box next to 5103, and you can see to the left it says limit. Now all I need to do is left click, and now you can see the order is visually working on the actual dome itself. If I want to modify the order, I'm going to hover my mouse cursor over the working order display until my mouse cursor turns into a double-sided arrow, and now I can drag and drop to modify the order while holding down the left click and then release the left click. To cancel out the order, I'm going to click the X. Now, if you want to place a stop order instead of a limit order, depending on what operating system you're using, on a Windows operating system, you need to hold down your control key, I believe. Just double-check it. I'll, I'll show you in a moment what, you, what to look for to make sure you're actually placing a stop order. I'm using a Macintosh keyboard, so on the Macintosh keyboard, it's the command key. So watch, if you notice here on the right side, next to 5103 and a half, right now, if you notice, it says limit. Watch what happens when I hold down the command key on my Macintosh keyboard. Notice now it changes to stop. So I'm still holding down the command key. If I release the command key, it reverts back to limit order. So again, I believe on a Windows operating system, it should be the control key. But a good way to confirm that is to simply click the control key. If you see it change to stop, then that means it is the control key. Now, while holding down, in my case, the command key, I'm going to left click to place the order. And now you can see there's an actual sell stop working. And this is how you place trades on the dome. And this is how you access the dome using the TradingView platform. 